Hello Flickering Myth family and welcome to our channel. My name is EJ and we have a new movie to talk about. A24 has been obviously producing amazing films and television for years, but this might be one of my favorite films from A24 and possibly one of the best Luca Guadagnino films we've ever seen. Yeah, we're talking about Queer. It's all we all are. In the same year that we have a movie I love as much as Challengers, I was surprised that I loved Luca Guadagnino's second film of the year. You have a filmmaker this bold, this artistic, this like, it's such a visionary filmmaker for me. He had two movies to do this year. Statistically, I, you shouldn't like both. You know what I mean? Like, it is hard for a filmmaker to have two back-to-back -back films in the same year and have them have that impact, have them both make a splash and feel so different. These movies cannot be further apart. Queer and Challengers are in completely different worlds but there is a feeling of longing both of them really discuss the unrequited love they both deal with people who have feelings on the inside that are having difficulties expressing them and how that manifests in some twisted and weird ways queer is a wonderful look at a man so in love with other men but doesn't know how to explain it especially in the 50s he is so longing for other people but is completely awkward has no social skills and it's also again the 1950s being a gay man and having to navigate who to talk to how to talk to them there's a whole kind of topic in this movie about telepathy and i think you know most people will take it very literal but as a person who's always been like who is that person are they gay can i talk to them are they queer that's such a a, a phrase throughout the film and we all feel that way we all you know we, we are going i want to know about this person but asking can get me in more trouble well telepathy could be a great way to doing it so i i love the the weird metaphor of this i love the trippy visuals that we get in the later half we will talk about like the last 30 minutes of this movie being banana cuckoo pants crazy not anything i expected but yeah i absolutely enjoyed what luca guadagnino did here i i look so he is a filmmaker that has two very different styles for me it's these either frenetic high chaos frantic very in your face movies think of something like challengers or suspiria and at the other hand he has these kind of vibes these aesthetic sweaty summer kind of movies think of a bigger splash or call me by your name this movie kind of mixes both elements it is sweaty everyone's like hot and wearing short shorts and smoking cigarettes very call me by your name very you know that that italian but this is in mexico that kind of like a, a foreign quality that just looks like it's a great place to vacation i like that stuff here so we get that kind of aesthetic beauty but then we get this chaos this pure weirdness that you get from a suspiria or even challengers challengers may not be completely strange but the filmmaking style it's very in your face it's very you're bold it will stick with you i love that luca has both of these styles and he blends it so perfectly with queer after having some hardcore issues with drugs that made him flee the United States, William Lee, played by Daniel Craig, is starting a life over in Mexico. He is trying to meet men. He's trying to honestly just have a good time, get a little messed up, and just enjoy the ride, hook up with people when he can. But he meets this man named Eugene, who really sends him in a tizzy. The years of these kind of hookups where he's paying you know sex workers and stuff like that that that's causing him to have this bigger hole in his heart and the only way he thinks he can fill it is by basically trying to figure out what this man eugene's all about eugene and me uh, drew starkey i believe his name is amazing actor amazing in this film but this character frustrated me as someone who has dealt with these people who are so wishy-washy so oh I, i'm not into that but then they're into that but then they're not into that i know these people very well he plays that character great so we're basically watching william this is a like will uh william s burroughs kind of stand-in character we're seeing him explore himself trying to figure this out and he develops a pretty interesting relationship a pretty good bond with eugene sexual or not there is there's a connection here and basically we're kind of watching them fall for each other at least one of them is falling for one of them insanely and then you know the journey of let's go cross country let's find some stuff they end up in the middle of a forest and then they take some ayahuasca and the film gets to a different level 
it is wild. This movie definitely challenges you story-wise. It can be so slow at times, and then it picks up in a very frenetic way near the end. I love the mood, the atmosphere, and that's all brought to life perfectly by our actors. Drew Starkey, as I said, is amazing as Eugene. I know men like this. He's beautiful, stunning, quiet, mysterious, but also maybe a little toxic. Then you have someone like William Lee. I love Daniel Craig. I've loved him for so long, and to see him play this character, I think it's some of his best acting he's ever done. I think it's some of the best character work he's brought out. I feel for this character, the longing. There's just moments where he's reaching out for people. It could feel definitely creepy because you're like, uh, uh, but you also understand that Oh, I just want a connection. He plays this like miserable, outcasty man so well. Like Daniel Craig's one of the hottest people ever, but he's able to play this character so well. I absolutely love what he does here. The acting is great. Leslie Manville comes out of nowhere with a wonderful performance as well. Each actor just does great and makes this film such a full, like it's a meal. You, you eat it, you're full after. It's such a full, complete meal. And I feel so great from watching it. If you know the work of William S. Burroughs, you know his stuff can get strange. Naked Lunch, one of my favorite David Cronenberg movies, yeah, that sits with you for a long time after you see that. This feels like Naked Lunch's little sister. Like, it is similar in a lot of ways, but very different. We're dealing with writers. We're dealing with people longing for their place in the world and how drugs can influence that. That's definitely there. And I was like, okay, cool. This definitely feels chill, vibey. I get it. Then they get to the middle of the woods and start taking some stuff and it gets weird like this movie hits a different type of aesthetic a different type of mood than I ever would have expected I you sat me down for queer and the way it's beginning it's very call me by your name a like gay love story about longing and wanting somebody and you're like oh cool what do you mean they're melting into each other what do you mean they're the the, the what like, this ending of this movie gets so strange, and it sits in that surreal nature. It sits in that weirdness for a while. You kind of almost think the movie's going to, like, chill itself back out and go, yeah, 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 this was a detour for the, all the weird trippiness. But no, the movie stays consistently weird the moment they get into those woods. The moment they're starting to, like, go look for this thing, you know, uh, uh, Will's character, Williams, and Lee is basically just looking for this thing. He keeps hearing that, like, ooh, the, the Russians and the Americans are using this to have telepathy. And again, he so wants to be in people's minds because he doesn't want to play the games. He doesn't want to be there anymore. And I think, again, we all feel that. And then it gets, again, he takes the stuff and you're like, oh, weird. Like, uh, you know, I've always wanted to go on one of those retreats where I like get in touch with nature and feel the earth and do, not if it's this, not if it's this mind bending mind melting kind of experience it gets so strange so in your face and I love that though I think it, it builds up to it the movie's definitely like a chill atmosphere and then it starts to ramp up and then we meet that Leslie Manville character and then things are getting crazier and you're like oh my god and then the ending is so heartbreaking but you then you don't know like is this real is this are they still on a trip like sometimes I feel like even with all that happens at the end you're like did they ever even leave the forest are they here forever in their weird mind-bending trip it's it's great it makes me think it made me feel something not too often you see a movie that just sits with you like this that buries itself into it like I've I I like William S. Burroughs but I want to go read queer now I want to go dive deeper into this the mind of this artist this creator and like Luca brought it out so amazingly uh Daniel Craig's acting brought it all, all it's just this perfect combination of cinematography score acting directing all of that to come together to make a great experience is this going to be a Oscar contender do I think it's going to slay at the awards it might be a little too weird I don't know we have to have the substance this year who knows people could be open to stuff like this I would love to see this as a contender Daniel Craig is on my best act lineup will he be my final nomination we will see but overall what a great movie with so much built into it that is meant to last meant to stick with you for a long time all right, everyone, that is it for my review of Queer, Luca Guadagnino's film that is coming out very soon. This end of this month, November, will be a limited release. From there on, I, you know how movies are these days. I don't know where you'll find it, but please, if you see this at your local cinema, go out of your way to see it. 
it will truly be your thing. If you like challengers, but want it something weirder, come to this. This is definitely it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for my review. It was so great. We have so many interviews coming on this channel. We have so many more reviews. Wicked, Gladiator. I've, I'm interviewing AEW wrestlers. There's so much happening, so make sure you guys are tuning in. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all that jazz. And let's talk about Luca Guadagnino's film, and let's talk about Queer right down below.